What's going on guys? Welcome to the Swing Trader channel. Today we're going to be talking about three swing trades that I'm in right now. I just got in two today. So the first stock that I'm going to be talking about is ACST. And then the second stock is going to be DERX. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about ONTX. This is a swing trade I've been in I think for about two weeks now. It hasn't really done anything. It's just been consolidating, going sideways. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that one. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 80% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. That's crazy. And don't forget to hit that like button and the bell for the notification so you know when my video is going to be put out. So enough of this intro. Let's get right into these swing trades, everybody. So in my last video, I talked about this stock right here. I was talking about how I wanted to buy it right around the 260 area. And you guys can see this big old red ass candlestick right here. And you're probably wondering what the fuck happened there. And I remember I was watching this stock and I looked at my phone and I saw it. I was like, what the fuck? This thing dropped all the way down to $1 and 19 cents. Like what the heck happened here? So the stock was halted all day. It was pending news. And that's what happens when a stock is like pending news. It, it halts until the news comes out. You got to be thinking to yourself, there, there has to be some insiders or something knowing that there's going to be bad news because why would a stock drop that much? It's crazy. Or it's just pure manipulation, one of the two. So the stock was halted at $2.18 until it opened back up. And when it opened back up, I made sure to read the news because I didn't want to go ahead and buy this if, if there was bad news going into it. So I went ahead and I read it and this is what it said. So when I was reading it, the news wasn't really that bad. It's just that they delayed the news on the data to come out. And when I was looking at the date, it's going to be January of next year that it's coming out. So that's only not even a month away, really. So that's not really bad news. So I mean, that's good for me because I got in at a low price. So which makes me think maybe the market makers, maybe they dropped it so a lot of people could buy a low. I, I really don't know. It's really confusing. It's just pure manipulation. But anyway, when we go back to the chart here, you can see I had a really good day. And with some news coming out next year and next month, I think the stock is going to keep on a slow incline going up. So I'm liking this right now for a swing trade. Let's hope everything plays out to the way that I see it's going to play out because you never know in the stock market. Second swing trade I got into, DRRX. And in my last video, I was talking about, I was looking for a pullback here, but it never happened on the big picture of things here. But I did see a pullback right here when that big red candlestick went down. I'm like, this is a pretty good time to get an entry point on this stock. I don't know how long I'm going to be in this swing trade yet. I'm just going to have to wait and see and how the stock plays out. I would have liked to seen it pull back more, but it didn't. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bigger picture here and see maybe where we got some resistance at. Now looking at the 10 year, two day chart, it looks like we got probably resistance right around three dollars and 47 cents so this stock doesn't look like it's going to run very far so i might get out of this position pretty quickly maybe a day or two and i'm going to be honest this is the first time that i've actually looked at the 10-year two-day chart and i don't know why i bought this at this price i might be getting rid of this sooner than later i guess you could say so if we look at ontx here this is the swing trade i've been in for about a couple weeks or so i drew this trend line here and i believe i drew it on the 180 day four hour chart and if I go ahead and look at it, you know, when I draw it, it just blew right past it, just kept on going straight through it. But then I actually went to the five day, 30 minute chart just to, you know, see some stuff. So, you know, because I like different time frames to look at stocks and everything. And the trend line actually, it, I mean, it bounced right off it like the down trend line. So I'm like, huh? Well, I mean, look at look at that. It, it, I mean, it just bounced off it perfectly. I don't think that's a good thing for us, though. But what I do see is that we're coming into a little bit of a squeeze here. So tomorrow's going to be very interesting for ONTX. And as I mentioned in, I don't know, one of the videos that healthcare stocks are, are ramping up. I mean, they're, they're going full steam right now. I mean, how long have they been going for a month? But anyways, ONTX had a really good day and then it just pushed right back down from this trend line. So I'm hoping it can bounce through this thing. I really want it to bounce through this and get out of this downward trend motion that it's in right now. But this stock is actually going to be ha having news going into next year as well. So this is a hold for me as of right now. You know, I'm up money, I'm down money. I'm up money, I'm down money. It's, it's just sideways consolidation. But it needs to get out of this downward trend pattern that it's in right now. And I'm really looking forward for tomorrow to see this because we have support down here at 30, 32 cents or whatever the heck it is. So it's coming into a squeeze on this time frame right now. So I'm I'm focused. So I just want to pull up RAD here. RAD. This is Rite Aid. This stock has been killing it too. Absolutely killing it. And we had somebody comment on one of my videos that they're actually in this for a swing trade. I believe it was like three days ago or so. It was probably right around this area. 
a day after their earnings. And this was a really good call for him to get in this swing trade. I'm not sure where he got in it, but say he got it right in around this area to say here, he's doing probably pretty good. He's already up just about 40% just on this. But if we're looking at it right now, it is very overextended, very overextended. So I hope, I forget your name, but if, if you're in this swing trade still, you better start thinking about selling on this right now. And you don't have to sell all of it. You can just sell like a little portion, maybe half of it. And so you have some more skin in the game, but you know, collect some money from it, from where you're at right now because rad is definitely due for a pullback. All right, so that's what's going on me in the stock market right now. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget that, that subscribe button so you can get my videos and you can see what's going on right there and right now, you know, instead of, you know, watching this video maybe three or four days down the road when shit's already hit the fan and all that crap. So yeah, just like this video if you guys enjoyed it and uh, let's make some money in these swing trades. Congratulations on your rad person, whoever you are.